It's official. Gennady Triple G Golovkin versus Marco Antonio Rubio. October 18. It's going to take place at the StubHub Center in Carson, California on HBO. And uh, it's going to be for Golovkin's uh, belt. His belt on the line. His middleweight belt. And uh, yeah, he'll be defending the WBA title belt. And uh, this is according to Yahoo Sports, so it's official for sure. Um, Marco and Antonio Rubio ranked 12 in middleweight worldwide, 59 wins, six losses, and one draw, 51 knockouts out of 59 wins, it's almost an 80% KO percentage. Very good. He. Uh, Knocks out most of his his opponents. He's a veteran, 34, so he's getting up there. But he has never faced anyone like Gennady Golovkin. Uh, Golovkin, highest middleweight knockout percentage in middleweight championship history. 90% knockout percentage, right on 90%. 30 wins, 27 knockouts, undefeated. Um, and if you look at, like, Rubio... His losses, he's got six losses, and all of them are, if you look at most of them, there are guys against against good guys or guys with good records anyway. Like, uh, guys with good le records, he's lost against guys, like, uh, he's lost to uh, guys like Kelly Pavlik. He got stopped. Um... He lost unanimous decision against Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. So pretty much when he faces the higher, the highest competition or higher competition, he loses. And that is all I need for my prediction really on his side. And I know what Golovkin can do. Rubio is going to get knocked out. And it could be any round. It could be the first round. Probably not the first round. That's when Golovkin can just feel his opponent. But it could be anywhere from the second round to the eighth round. All I know is my prediction. Gennady Golovkin is going to knock out Antonio Rubio. Rubio is a good challenger. Ranked 12. He's a veteran. He's a hard hitter too. But like I said, when he faces the high competition, he loses. And when he faces lower competition, he beats them. He knocks them out. But... Also, I'd look at is the guys he lost to, and he lost to guys with good records. And, uh, yeah, so this is going to be a great fight because it's Gennady Golovkin. You're always going to get a show. You're always going to get a knockout. And it's going to be his 18th consecutive knockout, I think. Let's see, um... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 16, Yeah, I think it'll be his 18 consecutive knockout after he knocks out Antonio Rubio. Um, Rubio's trainers, Robert Garcia, but that's not going to make a difference. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be... Uh, it's going to be a good fight, like I said, just because Gennady Golovkin's in the ring, you know what you're going to get. He's definitely one of the most exciting fighters in boxing, if not the most exciting. And uh, it's a good opponent, decent opponent, until we get a super fight like Canelo or Cotto or maybe uh, Andre Ward. I don't know about that. Or even Julio Cesar Savez Jr. If we can get a fight like that. This is just a fight in the meantime. Still a good opponent. And uh, yeah. What do you guys think about this fight? I think it's a good fight. Both guys got knockout power. But like I said. Golovkin's going to beat him though. Because Rubio's never faced anyone like Golovkin. And when Rubio faces good opponents he loses. And a Golovkin is better than any opponent that Rubio's ever faced in my opinion. So uh can't wait for this fight October 18 on HBO. Don't miss it. If you want to get tickets, stop Hub Center in California. Tickets aren't that expensive uh for Glovekin fights yet. So 
definitely would like to see that guy fight. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you like my videos. And thanks.